Tripods, we all need them, we all like them, but we all would prefer that someone else would carry them. Hello everyone, my name is Andre Dima, I'm a professional travel photographer and video maker, and today I'm going to review a tripod that I think is great for travel and much more that isn't so expensive like other lightweight travel tripods. The tripod market is getting more and more expensive, but gladly Ulanzi made this great travel tripod at half the price of the competition, and it is actually good. I used this tripod for the past month and I've put it through a lot of conditions, and it never disappointed me. It goes perfectly with my Fujifilm cameras in my search to downsize my gear. For those that don't follow the channel, in the past year I talked about how much I want to downsize my kit, and one of my problems was the tripod. I use a bigger, sturdier tripod, but in time I got sick of carrying it around, so I started to look for something smaller. And then I found the Ulanzi and Coman tripods online, and the price and features seemed pretty good, so I contacted Ulanzi, and they were kind enough to send me the F38 tripod to review and give you my honest opinion about their product. So, could this be the tripod I was looking for? Let's start with its size, build quality, and then show you some of the features this tripod has. The reason I wanted a tripod like this is its compactness and weight. Look at it, compared to what I called until now a lightweight and compact tripod. You should see what I had before. It is really easy to hold with one hand and can be stored even on smaller backpacks, as you can see here. Its weight is 1.1 kg with a length stored of 42.3 cm and a height when fully opened of 159 cm. That is more than enough for me, because I never shoot from eye level. I prefer lower angles, and this height is good to shoot over any edge. As I said earlier, I used this tripod in the past month and the build quality never disappointed me. And I am picky about my tripods, even though the legs are thinner than my other tripod, I never felt the difference. And the center column is pretty sturdy as well when opened, and I used the tripod in rain and windy conditions, with no problems. The legs are carbon fiber and the rest of the tripod is made from aluminium. The center column is super easy to raise and lower, you just have to pull this aluminium lever and move it up or down, you get it. It also has a cool feature I will show you later. It has rubber pads that have a nice spread and can be changed with spikes easily. The spikes are included in the package. The legs have three levels of height compared to the peak design that has two from what I remember. If you want to shoot lower and the center column gets in your way, this is the cool feature I was talking about earlier. You can make the column shorter. You just have to take out the tool from the bottom of the column, then move the ball head in this position to reveal the screw. Unscrew it and now you have a shorter column so you can go lower with your tripod. Or you can also reverse the center column to get lower angle shots. The great thing is you can remove the column even if you are in the field, because you always have the key stored in it. And you can use it at any time if you want to take lower angle shots or record video at an interesting angle. The key can also be used to tighten other screws on the tripod. The ball head can go vertical on the left side and the right side, a feature I really like. Most ball heads can go just on one side. You can also use it to pan. Just turn this little handle here and you can easily pan the head. So if you like to shoot panoramas, this ball head is very easy to use. The tripod I have is the F38 version, this means the head has the F38 quick release plate and not the Arca Swiss plate. 
This is the only difference between the F38 and the Y tripod. I opted for the F38 because I wanted to try something new and I love it. Makes things quick and easy while also being secure. Just look how easy it is to use. And because the ball head can go vertical on the left and right, I don't need to use an L bracket for the camera. You also have the option to add another ball head of your choosing by changing the center column with this one. The F38 plate is very secure, but if you want, you can further lock it in place and avoid unlocking it by accident. And finally, the Ulanzi and Coman 0 F38 tripod comes with a nice carrying pouch. I don't use them, but for those that do, this is a nice one. Overall, this is the best lightweight compact travel tripod I have ever tried. Great build quality, great features, and super easy to deploy and use for what it is. From now on, this is my go-to tripod for travel and I promise I will make an update in a couple of months to tell you how it holds up. But now, this one is my favorite. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like and use the links in the description at no extra cost to you to support the channel. See you next time!